Now we're going to go over how to place a hanging U slab splint. This splint is placed for a mid shaft humeral shaft fracture. I'm going to go over a few tips about how to do it as a closed loop so that the splint doesn't fall off the patient once you place it. So you need your patient, obviously. You want to have them with their shirt off, sitting, so you have access to their entire shoulder. The equipment you're going to need is the usual equipment for casting. So stockinette, padding, cast, plaster, and uh, ace wrap. So you start with your stockinette. You want to place on the patient a stockinette, and you want to cut here. A sliver so that it can go over the shoulder. So all the way up to the axilla and over the shoulder like this. Next you place your cast padding and like usual you want to make sure that you have enough that there's going to be no pressure points. So start about halfway down the forearm because the slab is going to go over the elbow. Make sure you put enough padding in the axilla and a few extra pieces up on the shoulder. Next, you're going to measure out your plaster. The splint is going to go from up here over the shoulder, wrap around the elbow and come underneath toward the axilla. You want it to extend to about four fingers breadth under the axilla. So what you do is you hold the patient's arm 90 degrees flexion at the elbow and kind of anatomical position at the shoulder. And you place your arm in the axilla. You measure four fingers breadths and that's how far you want to go with the plaster. And then you measure your plaster from here until I usually over measure with the plaster so I make sure that I have enough. Once you measure, you roll out your plaster. You're going to use the 20 centimeter plaster and you want probably around 12 layers. Now, the trick for this is before you wet the plaster, you want to be able to create a place to hang the, the sling from it. So you take the end of the plaster and you cut a hole in the end of the plaster right here. It doesn't have to be pretty. Kind of right at the end. Okay. And once you have a hole here, you're going to take a piece of stock in it. And again, you want to over measure just so you have enough, and you can always cut it later. And you're going to tie the stockinette through the hole, just like that. Nice and tight. So now you have your plaster attached to what's going to be your sling. Okay. Now, create the U slab. You wet your plaster. It's nice and smooth, just like with every splint you do. And then you're going to place it. Place it on the shoulder up here. Okay, and it goes down to the outside of the arm around the elbow. And up here, and that's perfect. So you want to wrap it up here, around it in here, and make sure it holds the elbow at that 90 degree flexion. And here, what you can do if you need to is a little bit of molding. Usually, these mid shaft fractures can be pretty angulated, but they reduce very easily. So you just hold it here, and you want it to hold the fracture like this. 
the pressure point on the U-slab is it's holding the elbow at 90 degrees flexion and it's holding the shoulder up here and you want it to be, like I said, in an anatomical position so a little bit closer to the body as it drives. That's good. Now, this you place on the side for now and you put your ace wrap. Go as far up to the axilla as you can. And you're going to have a portion of the plaster that's sticking out up on the shoulder, and that's fine. Just want to make sure it stays in place. Always make sure you have enough analgesia for patients when you're doing these splints because it can be pretty painful to manipulate the fracture, but once you have the splint in place, they should feel a lot better. Now, once you have this U-slab on, you see that having the splint, what it's going to do is it's going to hold the splint in place. Instead of it sliding down over the next few days, what you do is you bring this section around and you tie it to the arm here. And what that does is it creates a closed loop for the splint so that when the patient is walking around and gets up, the splint isn't going to slide off their arm. And as the arm, the weight of the arm goes down, it does self-reduction of the fracture. So the weight of the arm hangs down, it pulls here, and that pulls their fingers into place. Okay, and that's it. That's your hanging U-slip.